My favorite memory of the show as a contestant was not my finest hour. I get the Daily Double, I'm behind, I have to bet it all. Of the other 14 champions in attendance, only one said afterward that they knew the answer on the spot. I did not, and you know, I went down to zero. And they all started chanting, Bob, 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 and applauding and chanting. And to have Radio City Music Hall's audience chanting your name when you have just lost everything was such a thrill. I mean, it was like a very like, you know, convivial thing. Like everybody was rooting for each other. Sort of, we were all competing, but like, you know, it sort of felt like we were all winning when I won, or at least maybe that was my perspective. <laughs> Having won, maybe everybody else didn't feel quite the same way. I don't know. So the uh, the Million Dollar Masters, which was at Radio City in New York, and that was spectacular. There was a question about where the headquarters of the Salvation Army are, and I know that they're in London. I've always known that they're in London, but for some reason, there was a disconnect, and I was looking at Salvation Army, and my mind was registering Red Cross, which is in Geneva. Brain and mouth and thumb did not work together. I ended up saying Zurich, which made no sense at all. Alex Trebek complimented me on my Spanish pronunciation. He kind of stopped everything and told everyone in TV land that, he, that my uh, pronunciation was so beautiful, and he said, it, it's obvious that she has a great love for what she does. In the fifth episode, where they asked a question that was very similar to one that he had gotten, and the only reason I knew it was because I remembered saying, how the hell does he know that? And I said it, and you could hear the audience saying, how did he know that? I was behind by around $5,000 after the first game, and my father-in-law calls me up that night, and he says, are you sure you win this tomorrow? And I said, get into a bar and get everything you've got. This is locked down. <laughs> and I had a, I just, I hit the Jeopardy zone in, in the second game. I just suddenly was untouchable. The coolest experience was, was the hometown experience. Yeah, coming back to Silva and having people be very excited about it. When I was a contestant in my first game, I had a daily double question come up in Double Jeopardy. And I bet all my money. And if I had missed the question, we would never have had this conversation. So. Uh, when I got that right and I wasn't sure of myself and Alex said that's correct, that was a very good moment.